In this video, I'm going to be giving you three tips for writing headlines that will grow your traffic. Yes, writing head better headlines can actually grow your traffic. And let's just define what we mean by a headline here, because this can be applied uh, to subheadlines as well. Um, but we're talking about in the context of content marketing, uh, but it also applies to sales pages and lead magnet landing pages. But especially in the case of someone is searching on Google, they're looking for some information. They're looking for an answer to a question that they have and they, oh, look at that. Your website shows up in the list of search results. Hmm, should I click on this or not? That's what we mean by the headline, the text that is right there in the Google search results. And that's either going to entice people to click or not. Just the same way that you will hopefully decide by the end of this video to tap, don't smash, don't injure, just tap that like button because I appreciate it and it encourages me to keep going and keep making these videos for you guys, okay? Um, leave a comment as well, love hearing from you. <clears throat> so my name is Matt Ackerson, I'm the founder and CEO of autogrow.co, if you don't already know, now you do. And let's get right into the three tips. Okay, so tip number one for writing better headlines that will help you to grow your traffic is to inject some logos, some ethos, and some pathos into your headline, okay? And I always get the other two mixed up. It's not so important, but logos, you know, these words are from Greek, okay? Logos meaning logic, okay? You know, why should someone, what's, what's the logical reason that someone should want to read it? Well, because, you know, you will show them how to get X, Y, Z benefit. Okay, logic. If this, then that. You should want this product because it addresses this problem. Okay, that's logos. Ethos and pathos, I think one of them is appealing to, um, like more on the basis of emotional uh, rhetoric. And pathos is more about, uh, you should believe me because I am an authority, okay? So, um, which isn't necessarily always true, all right? But it is, it, it's kind of like emphasizing social proof and vanity stats and, you know, because because we've been around for so long and we have this great reputation, therefore we can predict the future. We can get this job done for you. We can, you know, cure whatever. Okay. Um, it's something to consider, but uh, it is definitely very persuasive in a lot of situations. Okay. One of the best ways of tapping into the logic centers, going back to logos, the logic centers of your audience's brain is by using facts, numbers, and statistics in your headlines because it's more, it's more concrete. So it appeals to logic in that way because it's something more concrete. And I mean, these days especially, like I think that buyers and, and just in general of having, you know, creating situations and relationships with customers and clients where there is no buyer's remorse go with logos all day long because there's so much ethos and pathos out there. I'm surprised that it still works as well as it does. I mean, there are just some marketers that are hype machines and there are, but th I don't know if they're so, so, so sustainable these days because there are entire uh, YouTube channels that are dedicated to sort of outing some of these uh, people who just, that's all they're selling on. They don't necessarily have, the substance or necessarily a great product to back it up. They're just kind of appealing to that reptile brain, like, oh, believe me because emotion, believe me because authority, you know, reputation, uh, you know, this kind of thing. But if that's all you're selling on, you know, your reputation isn't gonna be so great long-term. So I really encourage you when in doubt, go with logos as much as possible. The other things, um, don't lean on them too hard. Um, because if you do, people can see it and you're going to hurt your brand long-term. Okay. Um, 
if you do it, just be straightforward about it. You know, oh, here's a timer, you know, and, and be transparent and don't BS people. Oh, is a timer countdown, urgency, urgency, you know, flashing red light in the reptile brain, right? Take action now, decide. It's like, okay, got it, you know, but uh, if, if you do something like that, make sure that is the end of the offer when the timer hits zero. Because if, if, if it's not, you know, people can see that and people are getting more and more sophisticated every day with this stuff. So, all right. Another stat uh, from actually a case study from our proven sales conversion pack, which is a product that we made. It's kind of like a library of credible case studies. A lot of agencies like to buy this product in particular because, and a lot of businesses too, uh, SaaS companies, because it has just these interesting A-B tested credible case studies, hundreds of them that you can learn from. You can see the principles that are at work and you can implement them within your sales funnel on your landing pages, wherever. And in as little as just 15 minutes of work, they're organized by that. Um, so you can learn the principles, you can copy, easily copy the tactics in a matter of minutes. And if you're interested in that product, you can go check out, uh, learn more about it, proven sales conversion pack at autogrow.co forward slash marketplace. So anyway, in this particular case study, which you see on the screen right now, um, it says that by including specific numbers can lead to a whopping 139.7% increase in opt-ins. So if you have a headline and you are making a claim that you know, by opting in, you, know, you can get results of this, you know, that's something more concrete, okay? And you're kind of, like, that might appeal on the logos dimension, but also on the, a bit of the, um, I believe, pathos as well, because, you know, you're, you're doing it based on authority, okay? And finally, articles with headline lists, in other words, uh, titles to content, the ones that start with a number, they will get two times more traffic on average, according to SEM Rush. Okay. And that's, again, because what I like to tell our team that helps me to write the content that we put out for you uh, every single day and, and week is numbers just make it feel concrete. Like you, you feel like there's value being promised like right within the headline. And it's something almost to the point where you can touch it, but obviously not because it's a number. Uh, but it's more substantial rather than, you know, why elephants can't fly, what you need to know. It's like, would you rather read that or three scientific reasons, five scientific reasons why elephants cannot be genetically modified to fly. Um, tip number two for writing better headlines, like in the context of writing articles we're talking about uh, to get you more traffic is tap into FOMO with a bit of urgency and scarcity, but just make sure, as I said before, you're being, you be real about it. Okay. Be real about it. And it's not as overt as you might think in this case. Um, so for example, I've seen case studies as part of putting together the proven sales conversion pack where um, there was like an, a lead magnet and in parentheses, there was in the copy being, in, um, there was encouragement to download it, parentheses, while it's still free, okay? Now, as long as that's true, because you're gonna make it paid, you're gonna take it down at some point, that helps to create a sense of urgency and scarcity, it might not be available later, okay? Um, so according to this other case study, which you can see a screenshot uh, on the screen right now for, adding urgency to product, a product page in one case led to a 27% uplift in revenue, 27% higher revenue as a result of increasing urgency. And again, you know, you're appealing a bit on the reptile angle, okay? reptile brain angle so it's it's proven to work 
just don't lean on it too hard. Okay. You want to protect your brand and your, and your reputation. And I don't want you to be like some of these other hype marketers with terrible design and, you know, anything like that. And in addition though, according to entrepreneur, urgency creates a quote, psychological experience in which we feel we must consume the information or product now. Okay. Let's move on to the final tip, tip number three for writing headlines that are going to help you get more traffic, which is get you, and this is on the word you, focused. This is something also that I, I've trained our uh, writing team about. It's not about us. It's not about you. It's not about what you're writing. Um, it's about your audience, the people who are consuming it, talking to them about the problem. What is it? that you're promising them? What are the benefits? Okay. Get you focused. You and your. They are the second most common words and phrases used in highly shared headlines, articles, according to OK Dork, which you may not know, but you know the guy behind it probably. Uh, he's a very successful entrepreneur and marketer. His name is Noah Kagan. Okay. Um, and you is one of the five most persuasive words in the English language, according to research from Buffer. All right, so get you focused, tap into FOMO with some urgency and scarcity. Don't overdo it, don't lean on that non-logos crutch too hard. And as we said when we started, inject some logos, ethos, and pathos into your headlines for best results. Because when you increase the click-through rate for your Google search results, you're gonna get more traffic, you're gonna rank higher. The Google algorithm gods will push you up higher in the search results as a result. So it's just a uh, benefic beneficent, beneficent? Um, it, it's just, uh, it's gonna work out well, okay? So all that being said, if you're looking to grow your traffic, if you, if you want help actually creating content, lead magnets, um, uh, if you want help with uh, setting up ads to drive traffic into your funnel, creating an, a funnel all by itself, creating an entire website or anything else, whether you're an agency, a coach, uh, a startup, uh, whatever the case is, there's a lot to be done in terms of digital marketing. And you don't have the time to do it all yourself. So maybe you try to hire a team, but uh, that's fraught with its own headaches and really high expenses. With Autogrow, on the other hand, you can just delegate all of your digital marketing tasks and projects without the headaches of hiring. And Autogrow, if you're not familiar, it's like project management software, but with proven vetted professionals already inside, ready and waiting to get your work done for you okay and done well uh and we we cover all the skill sets that you need design development copywriting apps management project management quality assurance and more and it's just an amazing value uh i think we should probably increase our prices soon um but clients are loving it it's really unique it's a really unique experience the way it works is you select your package you log in you add your first ideas that you want to delegate to us. So the navigation says ideas made real within the Autogrow app. So ideas, those are like ideas, you know, bookmarked for the near future or whenever in the future for, you know, that you want to delegate to us. And you type up some notes for each idea. Okay, maybe some examples. This is what I want it to look like. This is how I want it to sound. You click the button that says make it real and we get to work on it. You sit back, relax, watch the progress bar as it goes from zero to 100%. And if you have any questions along the way, uh, you can message us right within the chat. Our turnaround times, as one client said, are insane. Uh, and we're just making the, the products for you better and better every single day. So check it out at autogrow.co. And we have a special going on right now. Uh, it is a $7. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just seven bucks to try us out, $7 for seven days uh, trial. 
And if you have any questions, go check us out. Again, autogrow.co. We also have a on-demand demo video. You can book a call if you prefer to talk to someone, but most of your questions will be answered within the on-demand demo video. And uh, it's, it's awesome. So check it out, autogrow.co, $7 for seven days. I know that you'll love it. Uh, so give us a try and check us out. All right. So that's it for this video. Until next time, as always, keep auto growing, stay focused, and I'll talk to you soon.